I want to do a quick lightning round with you, okay? okay let's uh, word association. Oh, great. These, okay, these, these here we go. These are trouble. I say John Kasich. You say? Great governor. Ted Cruz. Smart. Donald Trump. Big. Meaning? Um, everything he does is big. Lots of attention. You have no, you're laughing. Why are you laughing? <laughs> These are these are like the uncharted waters of of being chairman of the RNC. Sponta spontaneity is not usually your friend. And that's the least of his problems. Hey, it's Reince. For Without a doubt, Reince Priebus, the mild-mannered 44-year-old lawyer from Wisconsin, has the toughest right. job in politics Hello. this year. Morning, chairman. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. Hey. hey. Working 20-hour days. You should come. It's Preparing for the possibility of a contested convention. No, I think the system is, is working. And, and navigating the GOP through the year of Trump. The system is rigged. These are dirty tricksters. It's a crooked system. The Republican National Committee, they should be ashamed of themselves for allowing this kind of crap to happen. Nonstop damage control. I find it to be rhetoric and, and hyperbole. This is a very normal system that we've been using for many years. Sometimes you can't fix it. Sometimes you can just take a seven alarm fire and just make it a four alarm fire. It's still burning, but it's not as bad as it was. No one should feel sorry for me. I signed up for this. You are the man in the middle. You have Donald Trump doing his thing. And then you have the GOP establishment, whatever that is. Yeah, that's also that's a that's a word that apparently no one can quite define. But yeah, I understand it. Whatever is right. it, all those people right. over there who are not on the same side right. as Donald Trump is saying, "Well, it, it's all your fault. How how'd you let Trump? Why didn't you get rid of him?" Yeah, well, look, being in the middle, um, you have to accept the fact that there is. A thousand opinions. I mean, I, so I'm so used to it that I don't. I don't even care. It doesn't bother me. You're not pulling out your hair. Not no, I'm not. People assume, oh, you, you must be miserable. You got a horrible job. But I don't see it that way. I'm not like so. That's what I'm saying. I'm not pouring Bailey's in my cereal. I'm not sitting here, trying to find the Johnny Walker. I mean, this is a f this is fun. In fact, the day we spent with him, he raised $1.2 million dollars with just for... a few phone calls. Let's talk about money. Took a brief break for hoops. All right, I'm going to take you guys down. We, we, have a, we have a shot off this wall. There we go. Come on. And showed off uh, his prized possessions. Uh, the gavel. The gavel. This is when I, this is when I, when I actually won in 2011. Um, we Ever have, tempted to use it? Oh, yeah. Well, once <laughs> I don't have to try that hard. This is the chair that Clint Eastwood spoke to, actually, at the convention. So this really? is the one that, yeah. So when this all happened, you know, I obviously was perplexed when I was watching it. You and everyone else. And then when I leaned over, because I was down behind the stage most of the time, I leaned over the balcony to look and see the center teleprompter, and it was blank. And I thought, oh my gosh, there's nothing on that screen. He's just winging it. And then I remember going back, I left, went back behind the stage, and I told the chief of staff at the time, I said, get me the chair. He also keeps three items nearby he says are critical for getting through the day. The Greek Orthodox liturgy, the Republican Party platform. This is my safe zone. And this. The platform. And of course I've got the, brewer, the brewer's schedule on top because I will put on you know, MLB TV and have that in the background if I need to not watch the news. Other escapes, <laughs> time All with right. his family. All right, try to eat with cameras in your face. <laughs> and he plays the piano really well. So you just goof off. That's what I do. That's yes. how I play. But Priebus admits he's always been a proud political nerd. As early as third grade, he was lobbying classmates to support Ronald Reagan. And he even used the GOP to woo his wife. You went to prom together. But 
Sally, on your first date, uh, he took you to a political dinner. He took you to the Lincoln Day <laughs> right. dinner. Swept you off your feet. <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> How, what kind of first date is that? It's crazy. I think he tricked me. <laughs> I think he tricked me, and I ended up at the, at the political event, which I didn't know about at first because he told me we were going to the movies. But, you know. We made it. It was pretty boring. It was, it was pretty bad, but but we did go to the movie afterward, and we had a we had a great time. And he says you can't say you didn't know what you were getting into. Right, right. I did. That said, neither one ever thought their lives would be consumed by the roller coaster of Donald Trump. Reince is very strong. He has a thick skin. He lets it roll off his shoulders. He's, um, you know, he's tough. Uh, he doesn't tolerate a lot of drama. Including rumors that he might try to convince one of his best friends, Speaker Paul Ryan, to be a so-called white knight candidate in a contested convention. He would kill me, and I wouldn't do it. And I, and I agree with him. I, I don't, I, I, I don't you, you have to want to actually be president of the United States. He doesn't want to be right now, and he's not gonna have a floor operation to get it done. It won't happen. He said, if I do that, He'll kill me. Yeah, yeah. You would kill yeah, yeah, me. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. <laughs> An old political pro told me to be RNC party chairman, you're either the bravest person in town or the craziest person in town. Which is it, it for It probably him? requires a little bit of both, would be my guess, especially these days. Ryan says, I'd, I'd put him in the bravest category. Brave or crazy, Priebus insists his only concern is being neutral. Question. For the record, are you conspiring against Donald Trump? Of course not. Of course not. That's Is there a plan insanity. to steal the nomination? No, there's nothing him. to steal. I mean, either you have the votes or you don't. And you will be at peace if he is the nominee. I'm going to be at peace with whoever the nominee is because I know that whoever the nominee is is going to beat Hillary Clinton. For the record, yes. most frequently asked question, what kind of name is Reince? Priebus, what do you say? half German, half Greek, but the Greeks win. They control the family, and he points out that he named his two beautiful children, Jack and Grace. Mm. It's God. That was fascinating. Thank just you. Just getting an inside look, seeing him pacing around in his office, you know, the wall shot of the basketball, the wife being tricked into the political dinner, the whole thing. And I'm wondering, do you think when it's all said and done, and who knows will be the, who will be the, the nominee, uh, you think he'd have a beer with Trump when it's all over? I think with he would. In fact, he, you know, he said he doesn't have, he's not pouring Baileys in his cereal. He's not, you know, doesn't go for the Johnny Walker. I took a peek inside the fridge in his office. Yes, do tell. If it gets too rough, let's just say it's well stocked. <laughs>